chatting casually earlier this year with James Corden on The Late, Late Show, Prince Harry revealed that last year the Queen had asked what would be the perfect gift for her great-grandson, Archie. The Duchess of Sussex, he said, had a lightbulb moment, and knew exactly what to request, adding that his son loves it. The Queen, listening to Archie's mum's suggestion for an unusual gift, had the Christmas present sent to the Duke and Duchess's home across the pond in Meghan's home state of California. Prince Harry, 37, let slip that the royal couple had asked the monarch for a waffle maker on behalf of their two-year-old son. He recounted to the British comedian-turned-chat show host that Archie would think about waffles first thing in the morning since he received his gift. Speaking about the Queen's gift, he told Corden, My grandmother asked us what Archie wanted for Christmas, and Meg said a waffle maker. So she sent us a waffle maker for Archie. So breakfast now Meg makes up a beautiful organic mix, in the waffle maker, flip it, out it comes. He loves it, and now I have waffles for breakfast, bit of yogurt, bit of jam on top. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Berries, bit of honey. James interrupted him, saying, Sorry you're glossing over the fact that I cannot for the life of me imagine the Queen ordering a waffle maker to be sent to Santa Barbara. I can't get my head around it. Harry replies, I don't even know how to comment on that. Archie wakes up in the morning and literally just goes waffle. This Christmas will be the first one the Sussexes spend as a four-person family, after they welcomed baby Lilibet Diana in June this year. The youngest addition to the Sussex household is yet to meet any of her kin in the UK, including her great-grandmother the Queen. There was much speculation about whether the Duke and Duchess would make the trip back to the UK from their home in the USA, fueled by health fears surrounding the Queen in the run-up to the Christmas period. Royal experts have claimed that the monarch, 95, is keen to have the rest of the royal family at the Queen's Sandringham estate in Norfolk.